Hey there, and welcome back to Cosmic Crypto. In this video, we're going to be talking about Litecoin, LTC. Let's go. Okay, welcome back. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go down below, hit that subscribe button. While you're down there, if you can tap the like button, I would really appreciate it. All right, Litecoin on the weekly time frame. So uh, I just want to do a really quick recap. Excuse the mess in here. I'll try and explain what it all is here shortly. And actually, I think I can get rid of this fib right here. Uh, so just a really quick recap. Litecoin's been just kind of following this channel for a while now. Um, and we are trying to figure out where we are. We're kind of just following the same path that we did back here, where this white line here is similar to this white line here, where you've got the top, the test, the test again, the breakthrough. And so we've got the top, the test, possible test again is what I was hoping for. And then maybe a, a correction down and then a breakthrough. Uh, this green line right here represents the Litecoin halving. Uh, as you can see, the last time we had a halving, which is this green line right here, we had a massive run up and then it looks like roughly, let's see, that's June. So two months uh, before we we uh, before the halving, it actually started to fall down. But we have plenty of time before the halving before that could happen. So I was hoping to get back up to this level around the 120 to 140 area before the halving, but I'm not really sure if we're going to make it there yet. I've got a couple of theories that we're going to go over, and we'll see what happens. So on uh, the weekly time frame, one thing that is a little concerning is the RSI has been very weak uh, during this run. We weren't even able to make it into the over uh, bought area up here. Uh, you can see last time we broke through and made it up to the $400 range, we were in the overbought and same with all the way back here. And even over here, when we got up and touched it over here, this, this uh, resistance line here, um, before the breakdown, we even got in the overbought over there. So it's pretty weak. You can see the volume is extremely strong back here, but if we zoom in, I mean, the volume during this run that we're on is just poor. There's no volume, even compared to over in, I mean, especially over in this run right here, but it's just the lowest it's actually been, <laughs> um, is what it seems like. Also, so the RSI didn't make it. The Cypher B looks like it's about to print a red dot on the weekly time frame, and that's going to be in about four days, 17 hours. Uh, but last time we did print a red dot and we were up here, uh, we did get a nice push to the upside. Problem here was we had a lot of, or the difference here was we had a lot of volume, plus we were already in the overbought uh, area on the RSI. So we are missing that portion. So this uh, red dot could spell trouble and uh, correction. Also on the weekly time frame, we've been getting rejected off this blue line right here, which is the 200 EMA. We continue to try and break above it, and we just cannot seem to do it, and we keep getting rejected. So we'll just have to wait and see uh, what happens there. Let me zoom in and see what kind of theories I got going on here. I'm going to go to the 12 hour. So on the 12 hour time frame, you can see that we had the falling wedge that I called out. We did get the breakout and we did reach our price target. And actually we went above our price target too. Our price target was roughly $101, $100. And we went all the way to $105, $106. Then we had the correction down, which is what we're doing right now. And let me take this fib away. Then I'll put a different one on from this bottom down here. To this top up here and uh, let me move this two out of the way uh, you can see that we uh, touched the 786 line perfectly on this candle here uh, and then so that is a higher low and uh, looks like we might be getting continuation to the upside we do have some volume coming in on the 12 hour time frame it is increasing also uh, looks like uh, probably in the next 24 to 48 hours we'll get a green dot on the 12 hour here unless uh, we just fall <laughs> so as we can if we can continue to the upside we'll get that green dot down here on the cypher b uh we're also on the 12 hour holding the 40 area on the rsi which is good that's positive and to hold above the 40 and for a continuation we want to hold above that if we break down below it that's not a good sign uh so let me get rid of that the other thing i'm looking at here is a possible beginning of a one two three four five elliott wave so i've got the Lines drawn out here. These are just me randomly putting them out here. I didn't do any extension fib or anything to figure out where these might be going. Uh, the only ones that would be accurate in this scenario would be the one, which would be right here. And then um, going to the two, that's the fib that I moved. Anyway, the one that would be right down here, going up to here, and then down to the two, and then the three, four, and five. And again, these are 
uh, unknown where they would go at this point because I didn't do any kind of uh, extension on those. So, um, but we are right now holding that seven eight six for this two to play out, which would be nice. Which this would tell me that if we did get a three, it'd be a nice impulse move, probably breaking us either to this white line, uh, which is that larger resistance or uh, the diagonal line, or breaking us above that white line, which would be even better in our case. Uh, that's why I am putting it above there, just because I'm hoping that's where it's going to go. And then we get a four correction back down, uh, which would, in my opinion, because this was a longer drawn out uh, correction for this two, the four correction would actually be a short, quick correction, and then a fifth wave to the upside. Uh, so I'm kind of hoping that that, I mean, that's my bullish scenario, I guess I'd say, for uh, Litecoin continuing on to the upside. Uh, I do have some bearish <laughs> scenarios as well so which we'll, we'll look at that here in a second um but uh yeah looking good the reason why i'm thinking this could be the beginning of a one two three four five is because we did have an abc looks like an abc coming in right here and so this was the top of a fifth wave coming in here starting our a b and c and then we can start over for one two three four five uh for the next move so that's kind of what i'm looking at there let me get down to the four hour and just to see if i can see something here so we did break above the 200 EMA on the four hour. We did go below it again over here and we had a nice impulse to the upside. Uh, we broke below it and then we broke above it and now we're retesting it right now on this candle. So we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, probably by tomorrow, actually, we might know where this is going. If we break down below again, the 200 EMA, I'm gonna expect this to continue on to the downside. But the Cypher B has given us a nice green dot here and we're extremely oversold uh, here on the cypher b but on the rsi we actually didn't reach the oversold section but i actually like to see that we don't reach it because if we reach it that's telling me that we're bearish uh, because there's a lot of bears pushing the price down to where it's pushing it to where the rsi is able to get into the oversold what this is telling me is that the bulls are still sort of in control it's reached almost oversold but not quite there so the bulls just kind of bought up right there right before it got there uh, so that is some good news here, good news here, and good news here, and also that 786 fib that we're holding, I can put that there again, that is good news as well, which came in around the 9155 area. One thing we need to pay attention to is a poor retracement here, or a failed rally to the upside, so we would want to take our fib to the top here, bring it down to the bottom, and so the prices I'm looking at right now is roughly the $97 and the $100 area. If we cannot get a nice clean break above those two areas, I'm gonna be a little bit more concerned for a rejection. Come back down and, and this would be a failed rally and my uh, next impulse moves would not play out. Uh, one thing I have been looking at though, and this is kind of really just out there, uh, theory is that we might be in a Wyckoff distribution. And uh, let me put that fib back there actually, because this would this would uh, help us visualize this. So the distribution is, as we came up, we had our high, which is right over here, had a r attempt to go higher, failed, came down, went sideways for a bit, had another attempt to go higher. We did get the higher one, and this is the one part that's actually making me think, eh, maybe it's not distribution because we got the higher high right here, um, but uh, that could just be a fake out. Um, and so we could have got the higher high, but now we're coming back down. And we are actually right now uh, getting rejected off of these highs right in here uh, around the 90, almost $95 area we're getting rejected off of. So, I mean, we really need to break back above that and retest it as support for that to uh, kind of clear my mind here of this distribution. But we really need to pay attention. It actually could go all the way up to the 618 and still be distribution and then fall back down. One level that we really need to pay attention to is the $90 area. If we fall below the $90 area, so the distribution could look something like this, where we go up, we are either we already got rejected or we go higher a little bit, get rejected, come back down, fall below that $90 area, come back up, retest it as resistance and then fall again. So this is where we, this is where we need to pay attention to mostly. If we do fall below the $90 area, that's telling me that this could be distribution and we could have a larger fall to the downside. Now, if that did play out, I do want to give you guys some price targets here. So let's go to the daily time frame. Um, and actually, since this was such a high impulse, let's actually go to the weekly time frame because we don't really have a correction on the weekly time frame right now. And so I'm actually going to 
don't want to get rid of I'll get rid of them. I'll get rid of those so we can see this a little clearer and also get rid of that. I'm trying to clear this out a little bit. It's really messy. Um, so what I would want to, I would actually take a fib from the very bottom here. I mean, you could take it from the very bottom or you could actually take it from this low over here, which is right around the $47, $38 area. Uh, and then maybe I'll take it from there. And then we're looking for a correction back down. And actually it looks like there's some nice support coming in around the 78 to $80 area. So I'd be looking at support right there, especially for bullish continuation. If we can hold that 382 uh, fib level and also this previous resistance at that level. So if we can come down, if this is gonna correct, come back down and hold that and then make a move to the upside, we could still actually retest this horizontal not horizontal, this diagonal uh, resistance line here before the halving, and then at that point have the larger breakdown and come back down possibly to the 786 and then up for our larger break to the upside, something like that, which would play out very similarly to what happened over here where we had the move, we came back down, retested around the 786, I believe this probably is, and then continuation on to the upside. So this could be something that we're looking at as well for a uh, shorter term bearish, uh, then we get all the way, finally get up to that 110 area, and then a larger breakdown, and then the bull run starts for, like the, the larger bull run, I should say, starts for Litecoin, because I do believe this was the bottom uh, for this bear market down at $40. Uh, so that's my bearish scenario, is uh, something like that could play out. Um, otherwise, again, that one, two, three, four, five, uh, Elliott Wave could come in, to play for a bullish move, the volume's telling me, mm, we're looking at maybe a 50-50 here, honestly, uh, for what could possibly happen for this. But just trying to give you some scenarios and some theories of what could play out for Litecoin, and hopefully that helps you decide what to do with your money, because I can't tell you what to do with it. Anyway, if you like this kind of video, please subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and share it with your friends, and I'll talk to you later.